Welcome to the YouTube channel again. This is Ethan Kose from Kose Trading, and today we have the most uh, popular speaker from uh, Bang & Olufsen. It's the famous Bureau 8000, and this is the MK1 version, Mark 1 version. And uh, today I'm gonna show you how to deassemble it, uh, how to take the covers off, and also, I think we're gonna show how to clean the rotten uh, foam inside the cabinet and the rotten foam inside the cabinet causing a lot of damage inside the Banger Olufsen BWF 8000. So I'm gonna also show, show how to clean it and I think I'm gonna make a separate video how to install a new uh, isolation material inside the BWF 8000 so um, first thing we need to do is uh, I'm gonna show you how to remove the front grill and then uh, uh, remove the woofers and the toilets so um, yeah and also welcome to the channel and uh, I have been on vacation in three to four weeks so um, yeah I am uh, have a little bit off with the YouTube videos, but uh, yeah. Today we are starting again, so uh, let's begin. To remove the front grill, uh, there are some clips on each side uh, that are holding the, the front grill. But uh, when you remove the front grill, you need to be careful, do not uh, break the clips. Uh, there's clips here, here, there's, I think there's five on each side. When you remove it, uh, be careful not to break them. Otherwise, uh, you can still install when the clips is, is uh, damaged, but uh, it will not look as original when it came from the factory. So uh, first thing we need to do is, uh, is loosen the clips underneath. Uh, so uh, you just need to take the front grill and it's a click. In this case, it's already clicked, so you can just pull it up and lift it up. And that's how we remove the front grill. In here, there are some clips here on each side. I don't know if you can see it, but there are some clips here. So try to do not break them when you remove the uh, front grill. Here we have the Biolab uh, 8000 without, without the front grill. We have uh, two woofers and, and one trader. And the woofers is the first generation. Uh, you might see in a, a second generation where there is no cone, it's just flat. But this is the uh, first generation uh, woofer from Bang & Olufsen Biolab 8000. So uh, let's start with uh, remove the woofers and the twitters. So uh, we're gonna do that. Also, some extra information uh, when you're gonna purchase a, a, a Bang & Olufsen BWF 8000 in your local area or in the internet. If you are in the local uh, area and you, got, you are picking up uh, this, this speaker, you can always see uh, on the serial number if this is a MK1 version or uh, MK2 version. Um, also, you can always check uh, if the previous owner or the owner has changed the, the folk inside the speaker. You can uh, pull up the woofer out and see if the, the isolation material is uh, a black, if it's a black, it's rotten, and then need to change it, or uh, if it's in brand new or new, is white. So uh, let's try to see uh, inside this speaker and see what uh, foam it has inside. I'm gonna start with the uh, tuna and move on to the woofers. We have finally removed the, the screws from the trailer and we can just pull it out. As you can see, as you can see, this is the rotten foam inside the Biolab 8000 and that's not good. So we're gonna uh, remove all that uh, later. Uh, 
um, check the cables out from the Twitter. Also, I forgot to mention, uh, when you start uh, doing this, and if you are sure that you your build of 8000 is uh, has black foam inside and you need to clean it, have a plastic bag ready and a vacuum cleaner. So uh, I'm gonna remove it by those two cables we need to remove. And here is the Twitter unit from a Bang & Olufsen BioLab 8000. And you can see all the rotten foam. So we're gonna put this part aside. Now I'm gonna move on to the woofers and remove that. We have now removed the screws from the from the top woofer and we can uh, just remove it and just be careful not push too much and remove the cables and there's another cable at the back And, uh, and this is the woofer from a Biolab uh, 8000 Mark 1 and you can see that there's a cone and also see the rotten foam inside the speaker. So we're gonna put this one aside. Next step will be the lower woofer. We have finally removed the screws around the lower woofer. We're gonna put it out and remove the cables. Secondary cable under and here we go. There, there is this lower woofer and also your bed isolation material. I'm gonna put this aside. So we have finally removed the, the speakers out from the payroll at 8000. Uh, I would recommend to take a vacuum cleaner and clean uh, the rotten uh, foam in this area uh, just to prevent, you can already see my fingers is very messy and dirty, just to prevent the, the rotten foam not fall into your carpet or your floor and so I'm gonna uh, pick up, uh, get a vacuum cleaner and clean uh, this area. You can also wait. Uh, to uh, clean inside the the rotten foam inside the build of 8000 but just this is just a recommendation and experience i know that the rotten foam will fall <laughs> everywhere so uh, take a vacuum cleaner and uh, clean up in this area so it's uh, nice and easy to work on it so uh, i'm gonna speed up the process again We have uh, now removed the rotten foam inside the build of 8000, just in this section. There is still rotten foam uh, at the amplifier and the power module. As you can see, uh, we have removed the rotten foam. There is still uh, in the cabinet. Um, yeah, we're also going to remove that inside the cabinet. We just removed the, the larger foam so uh, we can uh, work on that. So um, we have now removed all the, the bolts around the cabinet, so we can just pull very tight. Just make sure you don't uh, break anything. So uh, here we go. And there's some rotten foam that's falling down. So. Uh, Grab your uh, vacuum cleaner again and vacuum all this mess up. So just put it back again. So uh, take your vacuum cleaner and clean it up. We have finally removed all the the bad foaming material. Um, there is some still underneath the cabinet. 
So uh, also make sure all this are clean when you put the, the new fabric on. So next step will be remove this one. And this one has a cable inside here. The cables are connected here. Just uh, remove the connection and let's try to uh, also there's very rotten from here but uh, also make here we go so uh, there's also rotten form here just uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to do it one step at a time so uh, also we need to clean the cable so we're gonna put this one aside so uh, let's take a vacuum cleaner just clean uh, the bad foam material out So we had the process to remove all the, the woofers and the cabinet and next step will be remove the, the, the foot. The, foot, uh, the floor stand is, uh, is made of, I think it's iron, it's around 20, 22 kilos. So we need to uh, remove that. The, the big iron uh, floor stand is just holding by a big bolt. So normally when I remove the, the floor stand, I just put it on the, the table and remove it. But in this case, uh, we, uh, we're gonna lay down the, the build up 8000, so we don't get any accidents. So uh, yes, let's do it. So we're gonna lay down the, the build up 8000 down and make sure to have carpet or a pillow underneath so you don't damage the the floor underneath the, the floor stand there's a bolt in this case there's no bolt inside so uh, let's uh, remove uh, the floor stand from the, the cabinet and also I am uh, normally when we do uh, such a work like this we always remove the, the floor stand but in this purpose in this video presentation I uh, have to remove the, uh, the woofers first and to get a big uh, get a better workstation so we're gonna grab the, the floor stand and just push here we go and lay it down nicely and here we have the, the big Floor stand. So next step will be uh, we're gonna lay down the the cabinet uh, onto the table and remove the the comb, and then uh, remove the the amplifier model with the heatsink. So uh, we have finally uh, on the table again. Uh, we first we need to uh, remove the cone. Uh, at the cone area, there is a so there is a clip right here, but uh, in this case there is no uh, clip. So um, I think the previous owner has already removed that. So uh, I think we can just push here, or it's here we go. <laughs> this was a little bit too hot, but. Uh, here is the comb. I think there has been some damage, but uh, that's totally fine. So uh, next step will be remove the the connection area. Uh, the connections is uh, there is right and left you can turn, also in a line position. So uh, let's try to remove uh, the comb, the big comb area. There's some bolt we need to remove. So I'm gonna do that. We have uh, finally removed the, the four screws around the comb. Also, I forgot to uh, mention uh, about information about the PLO 8000. The PLO 8000 has has been presented in, uh, in actually in my birth year is uh, 92. In, uh, in design by the famous designer David Lewis and uh, the cabinet can be uh, 
the, the most common cabinet you will see around the market and also your local will be aluminium but they have been producing in black dark gray red and blue so uh, we also have to talk about the the connections and uh, yes there's uh, also we have also talked about the woofers so uh, that's it so we're gonna remove the remove the, the comb just uh, wriggle it a little bit and it will become as you can see rotten foam has fallen down and out from the the cabinet so uh, grab your the vacuum cleaner and clean this mess up we have finally removed the, the bad isolation material so next step will be uh, removing the, the cables and I think we're gonna dig into the electronics so uh, safety first So let's try to remove the cables. Here we go. And there's a yellow connection here. I'm gonna remove. So uh, yes, let's talk about the, a little bit about the serial numbers. So this is the the Mark One version, and this all the serial numbers Mark One version will be can be located here, underneath the. The, what is called the input section of the BLF 8000 and normally the Mark 1 version can be founded uh, on here if you grab the, this one this is for, from the previous uh, uh, cabinet and normally the Mark, ver uh, Mark 2 version the serial number can be founded on here so uh, yes the serial number in Mark 1 version will be found here and here So in the forums, there uh, can be uh, talk about there are some three versions of the BLF 8000. So uh, part of what I know, there's uh, I've been removed 20 or 30 BLF 8000, take the parts and sold them. So what I haven't seen, there's only two versions, basically Mark 1 version and Mark 2 version. And the Mark 1 version starts from uh, I have uh, removed uh, serial number all the way to 08 version, Z serial number 08, and this is uh, starting from 10. Um, the Mark II version is, I think they started from uh, 68. Um, so uh, it also can be difficult to, f uh, to locate what serial number has been changed, also the production year. So uh, yes, and this is a Mark One version. So let's uh, try to remove all the parts from the button here, and let's uh, remove this one a little bit. So uh, let's try to uh, yeah, let's try to remove all the cables and the boards from the input section for the BLF eight thousand. We're gonna start removing the input section here. There are some screws we need to remove. So we're going to start by doing that and we have finally removed all the screws and I think we can just pull it up here and there's some still some screws here we need to remove and obviously some dust but I think we're gonna leave this now we're gonna remove all the parts just for the video purpose Here we go. Here is the, the the part, plastic part for the input section, and here is the selector for the right and left and line in input. There's the board, and here is the board number. I'll put that aside. So uh, next step will be removing the, the input section and here is the, I don't know, 
of the chassis part to movement for the input section. Let me remove that. And sometimes can be tricky to remove this, but uh, let's try. Let's try to remove this. And I think we need to unscrew. There are some actually some screws we need to remove, so we're gonna do that. We have finally removed the screws and also from the board. This is the, the board for the LED. Also has some bad forming material. So I think we can just pull this up. No, there's some screws we need to remove. Let's try to lift it up. Here we go. Here we go. And prevent not to damage this one. Here we go. So we're gonna use that later. And this is the ABS plastic part from the LED indicator. Now move that. So uh, next step will be I think the way it should be done. Just press it down or no I think oh like that and remove this one so uh, this is the input part for the BOLAP 8000 I'm gonna move this one and this is the I don't know silicone or or rubber part for the connection and this is the spacer. So we're also going to remove this one, put up, remove it, and put down. And this is the comb. It's a black, big aluminium. I think this is made a uh, iron, maybe also, uh, I don't know. Aluminium. So those are some clips we need to remove. I think we can. I've never removed that before, but uh, we're gonna leave that. So uh, next step will be uh, removing the amplifier board. I'm gonna. Here we have the the amplifier board section. Uh, there are some screws we need to remove. There's one, two, three, four, five, six screws we need to remove to remove the heatsink from the from the big cabinet. So we're gonna do that. Finally, remove all the screws, unscrew them, and I think we can remove. It. Sometimes it can be very difficult to remove the heatsink. Uh, what I do, I take normally a heat gun and heat it a little bit up this area so it can be loosened. But I think uh, the Mark uh, 1 version is a little bit easier and then Mark 2 versions. So let's try to put it up. It can be tricky. Take your time. I think in this case we also need to remove uh, heat the area a little bit up but uh, you can also force it up pull it not in this case but uh, try to make it make it work I think we also have to remove all the screws. This one is very stuck. So um, yeah, let's try to give it another push. Nope. Not moving at all. Hmm. 
also make sure to have some gloss on it's very messed up here so uh, here we go we have finally removed the, the cabinet and here is the amplifier module so uh, take a vacuum cleaner and clean it up So we're gonna. I think I'm gonna show you. Uh, I'm gonna show all the process how we clean uh, this section up. You can see all the rotten from inside. So we're gonna move this one aside, and we're gonna focus on the cabinets because the cabinets you need it, and you need to install all back again. So what we're gonna do is clean up. The cabinet you can get, take the actual cabinet to the shower and put some warm heat on it and it will be uh, looking uh, like brand new so we're gonna so um, we are back to the table uh, I just uh, spool the bad foaming material outside the, the cabinet just uh, use a uh, hot water uh, and you will get uh, this result it's nice and clean no rotten foams inside the build up 8000 cabinet so uh, we're gonna put this one aside and uh, move on to the to amplifier board and the power supply board here we have the power supply board and the amplifier board um, the amplifier board uh, can be difficult from uh, from version to version and what year has been uh, production. I've seen uh, these big cabinet uh, capacitors uh, in different uh, format and versions, but the normally in uh, the one uh, 10 series, you will see these yellow um, uh, big ones on the amplifier unit. So uh, let's uh, remove the the units from the heatsink. We have finally removed all the screws from the power supply board. Uh, as you can see, the power supply board is very messed up and we need to uh, clean all the, the bad foam material is sitting on. Normally, uh, when the, the amplifier is in a working uh, condition, it's work, but over time, these uh, bad foam material will stuck and melt into the, uh, into the board and cause damage onto the lines. So we're gonna remove it and remove the cable and there's some cables through here. So we're gonna put this board aside. So uh, next step is to remove the amplifier board. It's the same rule to the amplifier board. Clean it before all this uh, mess go into the amplifier board and cause damage. If you have a working on, working build up 8000 clean it if the damage has already been done you need to have a technician to look at your amplifier board but uh, if you don't have any technician uh, in your area we have a fully service amplifier board in stock and also power supplier on stock if you needed that so we need to, to remove that we're gonna do it now we have to uh, remove all the screws we can just lift it up nice and easy and remove the tape from here here we go as you can see the foam material is also inside here cause damage to the amplifier board take a vacuum cleaner and clean it up so we're gonna do it right now We have uh, finally removed all the bad foaming material. Now we need to uh, to remove the, the amplifier board from to the heat sink. So uh, we're gonna remove it. Just here we go. And. 
there are some cables I think we gonna remove okay I think we also need to remove the cables from it Here we go. Next step will be remove the. I don't know. I think we just need to remove that and be gonna clean it up again. Here we go. Take this board out and remove it. And let's try to remove this one. Oh, also. So in this case, uh, the hold of uh, the power supply board is broken. So uh, make sure to not do that. I don't know how I did, but uh, I don't know. But make sure you can also see the plastic is uh, rotten up and yeah. Try to not prevent and not to uh, not use too much pressure on it. It can break. So uh, yeah, so uh, what we're gonna do is uh, remove all the the bad foaming material inside the the heatsink. I think I'm gonna give it this one also a bath. So uh, I'm gonna do that now. So we have a clean, uh, nearly cleaned the the heatsink from bad foam material. We also tried have tried to remove the. The cooling paste so uh, also remove that the old cooling paste so uh, yes next step will be uh, cleaning the power supply board and the amplifier board and we also need to clean uh, the the woofers and also the tweeter units so uh, let's begin with that maybe I think we should make three separate videos a deassembling videos and cleaning videos video and to how to install uh, the new former materials inside the cabinet so uh, yes let's do that so let's bring all the parts to the table uh, and Maybe I, I I'm not sure. So um, I think uh, let's bring all the parts uh, to the table. So uh, I have decided to make uh, three videos of uh, the Biolab eight thousand speaker. First, uh, the assembling uh, one. Uh, I just decided to do that because I think uh, otherwise the the video will be very long. So uh, this was this video, the first video was the um, uh, assembling process. So I'm gonna tell about a little bit about the, about the, uh, the parts we had deassembled. So uh, here's the woofer and the comb and the plastic part for the LED indicator and the I don't know the pattern for for it. The big aluminium iron for the stand, for stand, the heat sink, the input section, and the plastic part for it, the LED indicator board. This one is going here in. And the input switch board and the cabinet also needs to be cleaned. Power supply board. Amplifier board. And the front grill with the clips here, 
when you remove it don't break it and the last one you just cleaned it with the cabinet i think we also need the twitter unit so uh, this was a deassembling process the next process will be next video will be uh, uh, a cleaning video so uh, stay tuned in current position we are working on the biolab 8000 the speaker from bang and olufsen so uh, this is the uh, video for part two the cleaning process of all the parts in the first video i've shown the the cleaning method not the method but how we can how we clean that heat sink we just uh, took all the parts out and give it a bath just put some hot water and it will be cleaned out from all the bath for material also we have done this process for the the, the the cabinet the big aluminium cabinet we have removed all the rotten material inside it and yes next step will be removing the rotten material from the pcb boards uh, and also from the the woofers and also uh, for this cabinet too so i am tr i think we need to remove all these boards and focus on the cabinet um, the cabinet has some uh, cables to uh, to the speakers wiring so let's try to remove this this one coil i think this coil we need to remove so we're gonna do that we have removed the screws i'm gonna take this one so let's start with cleaning this one and uh, give it as a has had some give us give it some hot water and remove all the bad foam material we have finally removed all the the bad foam material uh, just sit it set it outside and let it dry so uh, we have put put the the cabinet outside for just uh, let the small small uh, water drop out and let's focus on the speakers and the power supply unit so uh, also it's very important uh, let's say if you have a technician that say uh, they have removed all the bad form material inside your speaker and they have done in 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 20 10 minutes they have not done it the correct way they need to pull all the parts out and clean it totally inside so uh, it's very important they do that because uh, if it they if the technician has not removed all the bad uh, material inside the the amplifier board and also the power supply board the new forming material will not help at all they need to clean all the bad form material and put the new in. So uh, let's try to remove the bad form material on the speakers first. Uh, let's bring some new tools at the table. So uh, we're gonna clean the the power supply board and also the woofers. We, we are starting with the woofers and we are using uh, isopropylene alcohol and this is is 99% isopropanol and we're gonna clean that to cleaning we're gonna use an uh, anti-static brush it's very important it's anti-static so we don't damage the power supply boards so we're gonna open this one up and we're gonna fill a bit there we go take your anti-static brush and try to just oh, let's move this one and just remove all the bad foam material and this is the correct way to do it very important to, to remove it you 
I think you can also take a, a air gun to remove the, the bad foam material, but um, that's how we do it here, the correct way. Take some paper and remove the rests. So nice and clean so yeah this one is ready to go and same method from for this one yeah that was nice so take a napkin remove all the bad foam material So yeah, here we go. And that's the proper way to do it. If you don't remove all the bad foam material, it's not clean. So this one is ready to go. Also, remove the dust. Yeah, this one is ready to go. Next step is the, there's some a little bit bad foam material on the, the Twitter. So, uh, just be gentle. Here we go. Set the napkin. Remove it. Nice and easy and clean. Next step, uh, we have the small board here. We need there's a little bit onto it. Here we go. Just put this one aside. And on this board. Go. Nice and clean. So uh, let's clean this one up. Uh, it can be very difficult to remove the the bad foam material on the cables but check your time it's all worth to have it clean up i know this bad foam material is very messed and it's a big topic and discussion on the the forums and the facebook groups so check your time clean it can also use your fingers also mix use some gloves but uh, yeah we already started so uh, next time <laughs> here we go That's fine. Continue here. The hardest part is definitely uh, to remove from the amplifier board, but uh, just check your time. Remove it, all the bad foam material. Check the big one, just remove. There we go. There 
Or so, so, so inside here. I think that's it for this one. Let's bring the, the power supply board and I think we can zoom in a little bit. Here is the board and let's just start to clean underneath. Just take your time. Also, I'm showing this to save you a bang or losing bill of 8,000. So it don't need to be repaired or serviced. So if you have a working one, just do this, clean it. And after this cleaning method, I'm going to show you how to install the new uh, isolation material, like the uh, MK2 versions. So, so this one is nice and clean. Here we go. And so next step will be remove all the bad foil material. Make sure to clean it pr properly. Especially the big, tr uh, the, the big transformer. Also, I don't know. I'm I'm showing how to do it the proper way. I think I'm gonna speed up the process maybe in this video. And here we go. Now it's nice and clean, ready to use. Here is the amplifier board. This is very messy. Uh, let's try to. Start from underneath. So we are still continue to work on the amplifier board. It can take times. Um, I'm speeding up with the process, but in the meantime, I'm cutting them um, in sections. Make sure to remove all the bad foam material around the, the boards, especially here. And there is also bad foam material here. It can be very difficult to remove it, but uh, it's, you, you need to take your time. But this one is very hard. One of the worst ones I have seen. But you can be you can be lucky that the the bad foam material has not sit on to the board too much, especially in in this area. The foam can be very hard to remove. Also inside the connections connections, try to remove it all. The problem is when the board is heating up. The bad foaming material is getting stuck and melting into the board, and that's caused a problem. So we want to remove all the bad foam material. Here we go. I think we are done. Yes. So uh, we are finished, and uh, let's clean up the table and review the process and uh, how the product is cleaned. So yes, we are finally done with the cleaning process. This is the episode two and we have finally removed all the bad isolation material uh, on the PCB boards. All the PCB boards are cleaned and ready to use and install. Uh, we have cleaned the power supply board, amplifier board. We also have cleaned the woofers. There was some bad isolation materials on the woofers and the tweeter unit. And there was also some little bit on the, the LED indicator for the build up 8000. And I don't know what part this is, but there was also some uh, isolation material on this one. And also it's cleaned, make sure all the cables are cleaned and also check the, the, the Twitter unit at the back. There's no 
uh, path for material left. So uh, yes, we are finally done. Uh, I'm gonna make the 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 last video where we're gonna install uh, all the parts back again and install the new uh, material inside the build of eight thousand. Have a nice day. Welcome back again, and uh, this is the final video of the the BioLab 8000 deassembling process we have done. Uh, we have done the cleaning process of the amplifier unit, the power supply unit, and also cleaning of the the drivers. So the next step will be installing the new. Uh, isolation material inside the cabinet so uh, I'm gonna show you how to do it the proper way and also uh, yes show the process all these uh, forming material can be by uh, ordered and purchased in our website it's coming as, as a set if you want to buy for two speakers you need to order two of uh, two of the orders so this is for only for one speaker. So uh, yes, the first thing we need to do, we need to remove, uh, put a uh, foam material inside the between uh, the amplifier unit. It's located, located right here. So just push and set it right under here. And basically, that's it for the power supply board and the amplifier board. Next step is to bring up the cabinet. This is the complete uh, cabinet. Uh, we need to uh, uh, place all these three. Uh, this is the here is the big one, and we need to place it right here, around here. And because I'm gonna show you how why is the need to be placed right there, so just set it here. And the last one should be placed right here. And this one is placed here, like that. So uh, this is finished. So next step is to check uh, this one with the speakers. Check this one, the big one. Pull out the, this one. And it's need to place right here. Here we go. So when you install the, the amplifier, no, the the drivers back in again. It's ne it needs to be those two drivers need to be located here, and this one is need to be located here. So when you install it, so it needs to be installed like this. Here we go. So the thing is, it needs to be, this one needs to be located here, right on top of the, the other uh, isolation material. And yeah, just push in and you're good to go. The next step is to, uh, oh, it's gonna be difficult. So next step is to replace this place the small one right here and take the amplifier unit and the power supply unit place it light light here and the last one is need to be placed here after you have installed the the comb is need to be placed like here so 
So it needs to be placed like that. This was a demonstration how to install the the isolation material inside your BioLab 8000 speakers. So I hope you enjoyed the whole process of deassembling it and clean the process, all the amplifier units and cabinets. And the last one, how to install the, the, the new isolation material inside the BioLab 8000. I hope you liked the video, how to do all the process. Here we go. And yes. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.